okay dear friends now we can start our dhamma sermon we are in dhamma pada stanza number 155 155 and 56 goes together acharitwa brahmacharyam aladha yobbane dana chinna konchava jhayanti kena macheva pallale next sentence uh, next stanza is acharitwa brahmacharyam aladha yobbane dana senti chapati kena va purana ni anuttuno Uh, last two sentences are the difference first two sentences are same acharitwa brahmacharyam aladha yobbane dana they who have not led the holy life in their young age who in who youth have not acquired wealth pine away like all herons at the pond without fish this is the meaning of first stanza acharita brahmacharya did not practice holy life in their young age aladha yobbane danang in their young age they did not earn wealth they did not earn wealth now chinna konchava jhayanti there is a simile that buddha used in now what happened to that person that person who did not earn wealth who did not practice holy life who did not develop the spirituality at the age uh, uh, at the old age now they are suffering like all herons at the pond without fish herons always waiting to get some fish from uh, uh, waiting they are aiming to get fish when fish are fishes are there in the pond to have fish you should have water there if there is no water there is no fish fish can't live without water therefore somehow at the young age means that is the energetic life time life period of the in our life that is the period energetic period in our life the young age so that age like a pond which is full of water and also fish and flowers everything are there very attractive that fun but at that time waiting until vanish all the waters when water is vanishing from that pond uh, all the fish and flowers will disappear it's happening when it happened heron who was waiting to catch a fish he can do nothing because water not there fishes are not there too now heron is suffering a lot disappointing himself at the time there was so many beautiful attractive thing i was enjoying with those things just wait waste in my time which without, without uh, gaining my aim now everything too late same way in in our young age are the age that we have energy we should manage that energy benefits for this life and next life if you are not able to attain enlightenment finish this sansaric journey in this very life then we have to work for our next life too this life and next life 
but unfortunately if you are not able to manage your life you are not able to achieve the goals of your life i think these instances are very important for the young generation but even though we can use this teachings i mean benefits for ourselves and also to share with others in the world who are living with us help them to get rid of their suffering developing their energy driving into right direction not wrong direction this is these are very important so in this instance are given us uh, given us wonderful simile uh, herons at a pond without fish this is the simile if there is a heron where was fishes how would be the mind of that heron hungry but the body also weak now because he just wait uh, waste his time without gaining anything now he can't do nothing because body energy had been gone away that powerful body no more with that person so seen outside and looking at his past he is worrying it's happening why i just wasted my time i just wasted my time without developing anything the second instance acharita brahmacharyang aladda yobbane danang senti chapati kina va puranani anuttunam meaning they who have not led the holy life in their young age they did not gain their wealth too lie like a worn out boss lie like a worn out boss shining after the past when worn out boss shining after the past that uh, boy is not useful anymore because you couldn't find it it's went away to the forest useless amos there now it is pull up rust and its decay you had become useless it's happening when it's become useless there is no value for that boss bow and arrows are not working together now because already worn out that arrows are not useful now arrows are uh pull up rust and uh, is decayed so person who was not able to develop their spirituality as well as their wealth at the end of life this kind of mentality how that person it's happening because suffering is there if you are not able to if you are not able to gain wealth and spiritual development yourself during the time that you had very good energy the buddha delivered these two stanzas because of well the couple during the buddha's time 
there was a family which we call mahadana bankers he that family had the son he, he was the one and only son so his their parents thought his parents thought no we don't want to <coughs> send our uh, children to school or do anything because he has enough wealth and everything so he can enjoy his whole life using this wealth that was their idea then when the time come there was another family they also well the same as both and then they had a girl daughter both of agree to marry these two young girl and boy they married in their whole life both of them did not gain any knowledge experience about to manage their wealth properties they just spend their time wasting all their wealth one day when buddha was dwelling this couple this couple came to the buddha to the temple asking some food asking some food begging some food then the buddha addressing venerable ananda said the buddha said addressing venerable ananda dear ananda you know this couple was one of successful family members both of them had good wealth a uber wealthy family both of them are coming but they were not able to manage their wealth in their young age so today they had become beggars because of their misbehavior misbehavior so then buddha said this happened why because of their lack of knowledge they did not gain any knowledge benefits for this life to manage their wealth and their life they are like now in here there are two similes first one they are like herons who is waiting in at at dry pond dry pond even the muddy also dry no water no any living creatures there they are also like that and also they are like uh, uh, worn out boss signing up to the past now they are worried about their past they had enough money in their life but they were not able to manage their money benefits for this life and next life even in this life now they are suffering millionaires had become uh, poor beggars now even they were not they are not able to find something to eat they have to beg something from others this is the nature of your life if you are not able to manage your life if you are not able to drive to right direction if you are not able to develop your insight this happening not just only for this couple it could be anybody therefore without wasting your time wonderful time you should work to achieve your goal so in this instance are giving us a wonderful message as a first thing we should have goal for our life we should have goal for our life why we should have goal for our life because maintaining goal this is very important maintaining your goal you can go in into right direction if you are not able to manage your goal 
when you don't have a goal your life will go here and there you don't have a purpose for your life so goals make us a, a make us purposes for our life this is very important so being born as a human being we not supposed to waste our time and energy which is very important time and energy is very important for our life we have very short time period to gain our goals to live in this life so we have, therefore basically we should focus about our goals aims and focusing about our goals and aims we have to work for uh, work to achieve those goals for benefits for ourselves so in here there are some uh, obligations for our parents too as a parents we should uh, help our children to focus on their goals whatever the well you have it does not matter if your children are not able to manage their goals if your children are not able to stay with your is stay with their goals therefore as a parents you should have obligation to take care of them and keep their in their goals dear friends according to the buddha's explanation giving goals for you are helping helping your children to have a goals means not that kind, this kind of goals likewise or you should become a doctor you should become an engineer you should become a good businessman you should become a policeman you should become a army commander these are not the goals for this human life those are kind of extra things but unfortunately lack of our thinking ability we just focus about these goals to achieve these goals but these goals are not the goals whoever achieve these goals can they stay as uh, they are uh, enjoying with their achievement just think about uh, spending your time and energy you became a doctor can you be doctor in your whole life no doctors also has to go to see another doctors is happening therefore this is kind of uh, these these are kind of professionals that we should uh, use to earn some money to live happily and peacefully to make our life comfortable these are kind of professionals professions that's it these are not should be our goal what are the goals goal is earning our happiness earn happiness is our goal how much energy you put there to earn your happiness this is the most important thing without gaining your happiness whatever the material that you collected whatever the position that you collected is useful no no one no one can use any of materials if you are not happy therefore happiness gaining happiness is the main goal for human life not just buddhist followers all human life they should maintain this goal for their life as a human beings what is happiness that's why buddha said in dhamma pada santutti paraman dhanam greatest gain is happiness nothing yet happiness we do everything we spend uh, billions of money if you have for our happiness we should eat we should do each and every activities for our happiness but we don't know how what is the real way to gain real happiness this is very important this couple this couple 
who were in, during the Buddha's time, they had enough money. Those days they might uh, enjoy with their wealth. They had a lot of money, but later on, <coughs> nothing, anything, they became homeless. Why? They were not able to manage their life. Therefore, yes, happiness is a goal for our life, but we should find out what is the real path to gain our happiness. This is very important. Dear friends, there are people who are doing, who are engaged in killing, stealing. They also can be happy, but that happiness is not the real happiness that Buddha meant. If you are happy, then that happiness should be without greed, hatred, and anger. Your happiness should be without these defilements. If you are gaining your happiness with these defilements, that happiness is not the happiness that appreciated by the Buddha not just only the Buddha, that happiness is not, no one can compare with the reality, the universal truth. So universal truth, according to the universal truth, and also the Buddha's teaching, we should find out uh, what is the real happiness is. Real happiness should be full of compassion, full of loving friendliness, full of sympathetic joy and equanimity. This is the way how we can gain real happiness. Developing our qualities, these qualities, these are the qualities that we consider as a human qualities. Developing these human qualities, you can gain happiness. That is the happiness that Buddha meant. That is the happiness which is connected with universal truth. Universal truth. Therefore, friends, we are trying to gain our human qualities, likewise, compassion, loving friendliness, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. You can measure yourself according to the qualities of Dhamma. We know there is a quality, come and see. Therefore, you can experience yourself when you are developing your loving friendliness thoughts, compassionate thoughts, sympathetic joy and equanimity, all these qualities. These are mental qualities. When you are developing these qualities, then you can experience how would be your mind. Happiness also gaining. There is no doubt about that. Happiness also gaining. Same as your qualities. When you are decreasing these qualities from you, how would be the nature of your mind? Worry, sorrow, lamentation, all these are increasing. Stress is going up. It's happening. Therefore, to gain your happiness, you should work against your defilements. Defilements are the reasons which is, defilements are the uh, things that against our human qualities. Therefore, dear friends, uh, let us work, go against our defilements and increase our qualities. Qualities likewise, compassion, loving friendliness, sympathetic joy and equanimity. These are the quality. There are three activities to gain our happiness in this manner. Sila, Samadhi, Panya. Moral, Sila, or virtue. Samadhi, concentration, and Panya, wisdom. Developing these three qualities, yes, we can gain our happiness. We can gain our qualities, all these four qualities. So, when we can gain, when we can apply this method each and every moment, each and every moment, not just 
participate in this kind of session not just going to the temple not just uh, uh, listening to the dhamma not just practicing meditation each and every moment when you are walking outside when you are uh, in your office when you go to school when you are in bus or train when you are driving each and every moment we should have ability skillfulness to use dhamma use dhamma means uh, uh, practice this sila samadhi panya this is very important this is the real mindfulness you can measure your mind what kind of thoughts are arising when you are mindful enough and you can correct yourself oh this is wrong this is this is not the things i i i wanted to do now you can correct yourself so dear friends listening to dhamma practicing meditation we have to develop our skills up to this level but if you not able to gain these qualities with our practice then we also just waste in our time keep in your mind all the time all herons at the pond without fish and also lie like worn out boars shining after the past these similes are very important to gain our energy to use this energy benefits for ourselves this is very important i think that would be enough for today we can continue uh, this dhamma discussions for tomorrow too uh, thank you very much for your participation i think you might heard some announcement last week uh, march 18 thursday morning 10 am panti ji will start his zoom session and also march 28 sunday 8:30 to 5 pm we have one day retreat uh, so uh, the, these are the announcement that uh, i have to make in here now thank you very much let us use this opportunity to share merits with others first of all think about departed relatives friends and family members who departed name of us by the power of all these merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 whoever is affected by covid-19 and any other sicknesses by the power of these merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration make blessings upon them say sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of these merits and metta thoughts may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deeds may I never join with the police may I join always with the wise until the time attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the highest realms of existence to the lowest may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much thank you bante thank you bante thank you bante thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.